$307.06 at Forever 21. Journey's Kids, $254.94. H&M, $622.61. $157 at Foot Locker. $2,000 at Dick's Sporting Goods. We're gonna check the cameras and we're gonna catch this little thief. They're gonna get caught. It costs $1 to be a kind human being. Hey guys, it's Gabby and today I'm doing a little get ready with me. So basically, long story short, it's my best friend Allie's birthday tonight and I'm throwing her this big birthday bash. We're gonna have like a white Navigator limo SUV. We're gonna go to the club with bottle service. We're basically gonna be out on the town. I am so excited, so that means I need my makeup to stay on all evening, all night, early AM. This is gonna be like a really long event, so I have to make sure my makeup stays on nice and good. If you're anywhere near my age, when you go out, you get drunk, your makeup gets gross, you might even hook up with your boyfriend or with someone, and you need like your makeup to stay nice. So I have a little trick to that, and I'm gonna show you guys. I also wanna show you, I got my nails done today. I have been up and running since I woke up. I went, got my nails done. Took a long time, obviously, but I love them so much. They're like YSL, Halloween with skulls, and like cars and a little American Horror Story quote. They're just so unique and so cute. And I also went to Party City and got balloons for Allie. And then Frosted Chaos made a custom cake for Allie that was then delivered. And then I set up the table and everything. So I'm super excited for this vlog. It's gonna be super girly and fun and hopefully very eventful. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into my long lasting makeup for tonight. Face primers are so important before beginning your makeup, before a long night out, or for any kind of long wear makeup. And my secret to hold my makeup on is Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. It's a primer cream. The texture is super thick, so it grabs onto your skin before applying makeup so it keeps your base there. And if the base of your makeup stays on, the rest of your makeup's going to stay on. So I can't emphasize enough how important a face primer is for long wear makeup. This is my holy grail. I could not do a night out without this stuff. It comes in this beautiful, beautiful box that looks like a retro television. I literally use this box as decor in my closet because it's that gorgeous. This primer uses hyaluronic acid and avocado extract. And any facial primer with these ingredients is definitely promising and it's only $35 with those kind of ingredients. It also has a blurring effect with foundation. I notice if I apply this before I apply foundation, my foundation is a bit more blurred and airbrushed looking and it has super moisturizing qualities that I love. I have combo skin and this cream is thick enough where it's not going to make my skin look crazy and oily. It's just enough to keep my makeup in place. It makes my skin feel really smooth too. I feel like so many people always forget about the super important step, especially with long wear makeup. I literally learned this the hard way, but I'm so glad that I found this product. I'm so glad I get to share this with you guys. I love helping you guys out. It's literally called Moonshine Miracle Cream, and it looks like a little UFO. Isn't that so cute and aesthetic? And it's also like super sparkly. So just watch and learn. You'll see my face later on. It works so well. The primer mixed with my foundation or any foundation I use always mixes so lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, but that is my little trick for a night out and for your makeup to stay on. And to be drunk proof, hookup proof, all night proof, you get it.
so this is my makeup look for this evening. I'm going to go upstairs and wrap Ali's presents in my closet and I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing tonight.
guys so it's actually the next day or should i say the next night oh i don't even know where to start so basically obviously i was hung over majority of today i didn't leave my house i didn't spend any money i literally was just in bed all day and our friend group decided we wanted to go to another halloween attraction tonight so i basically got out of bed at 5 p.m and on the way to this halloween attraction me and my friend shanice went to starbucks because i was just like obviously hung over and i needed to pick me up before going to a halloween attraction but we go to starbucks and i love how starbucks is always involved in these stories oh my gosh i'm literally in the starbucks because there's no drive through at the starbucks and i go to look for my card and i can't find my debit card my credit card my business credit cards in there but not my personal spending debit card which is the one i like to use on like starbucks or haunted attractions like, you guys know this i don't like to use my business credit card unless it's like like a business transaction i'm like where's my debit card and it's not there and i realized last night at the club i paid for the bottle service it's like it's somewhere it's probably at home until i called the bank just in case someone stole it i called the bank to put like a hold on the card and to like put a block on the card so no one can spend anything in case someone did steal it and when i called they were going over the transactions from today they said i had a lot of transactions today and i'm like what i've been in bed all day and they said yes ma'am there are a lot of charges from today i'm gonna go through all of them and you're gonna say if that was you or if it wasn't they started out with at 11.55 a.m., $307.06 at Forever 21 in Camp Hill, PA. Then they said at 12.28, Journey's Kids, $254.94 in Camp Hill, PA. Then there's H&M, $622.61 in Camp Hill, PA. At 3.57 p.m., $2,000 at Dick's Sporting Goods in Camp Hill, PA. $157 at Foot Locker in Camp Hill, PA. None of these are mine. All the transactions happen from 11.55 a.m. to 4 p.m. today while I was in bed hungover. If you think about it, if this person was at the club last night, we were at the club till like 2 a.m. when they closed. The transaction started at 11 a.m., an hour and a half away. This person woke up with a damn mission with my card. They woke up as early as possible before I could catch that my card was missing so that they could buy things. Well, in the state of Pennsylvania, if someone steals a card and spends money like that, they're behind bars for six years. So tomorrow I'm going to be going to the police station and I guess you guys are coming with me and I'm going to be filing a police report and making a little trip to Camp Hill, PA to go to these stores. I think I'm gonna go to Dick's first because that's where the largest amount of money was spent, $2,000. Um, and we're gonna check the cameras and we're gonna catch this little thief. Even if someone has a lot of money, that is hard earned money. That is not fair. And they're gonna get caught. This is bullshit. I'm so pissed right now. This is not where I thought this vlog was gonna go. Like, they literally had a mission, went to all these stores this morning. That is not okay. They're gonna get caught. And when it's up to me, when we catch the person, if we're pressing charges or not, I'm pressing charges. That is bullshit. Colin has school tomorrow until 12. So I think Allie and I are gonna go to the police station before, like, while he's in school. And then when he gets out of school, we're gonna take a little trip to Camp Hill, PA, which is literally an hour and a half away. I did not expect this vlog to go there, but it did. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Look who's here. We're gonna go catch this criminal and I'm going to pick out a catching criminal outfit. Should we wear this? Oh my God. Give me my money back. <laughs> All right guys, so this is my catching the criminal outfit. I thought it was ironic because there's like black stripes and it's a white sweater vest. I got at a thrift shop with a little bow and I'm carrying my YSL bag. I have this black skirt. I forget where I got it from. I think it's Altered State. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton sneakers. Let's go catch this mother Police officer. I don't want to film when we're with the police officer because then he won't take us seriously. So this is what the police station looks like so far while we're waiting to see our cop. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back from meeting with the officer. 
We have a case report. He said this is a felony. So this person's gonna go behind bars for, for like a maximum while. time, he said, like for a really long time. So I just like, I've never dealt with anything like this before. I'm gonna have to like be in courtrooms and stuff like that. He basically said, we're spared a trip to Camp Hill, PA because he's reaching out to Camp Hill police officers who are then going to reach all these stores, get all the camera footage with the timestamps and they're going to be handling it themselves. Thank God, I was like low-key nervous. But I am gonna call the Dick's Sporting Goods because that's where the largest amount was charged. If I call, they can like start looking for the footage so that when the cop reaches them, they have it like immediately. Thank you for calling Dick's Sporting Goods. How may I direct you call? Hi, my name's Gabby. May I please speak to your manager? Yeah, one moment, sweetheart. Thank you. Roger that. You said 3.57? Actually, it's 3.24 p.m. Oh, no, wait. That's H&M. Oh, Hold on. 3.57 p.m., $2,000 with Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm at... Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Forever 21. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Gabby. May I please speak to the manager? Sure, that would be me. What can I do for you? Hi, thank you. Um, I'm calling with a case number. Someone stole my credit card two days ago and went on a shopping spree yesterday in Camp Hill, PA, and they spent $307 at 11.55 a.m. at your store. Oh, hold on. It looks like it was 12.55. What? Oh, 12.55 p.m. Oh, 12.55 p.m.? Okay, maybe yeah. I heard the time wrong. Yeah, I got that transaction. Yeah, it's here. Um, but yeah, I'll print out the receipt with the info, um, and then I can pull that footage up. Um, but yeah, I guess we would have to just wait for him to reach out to us, and then I can give him all the info we have. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. All right, so H&M has us on hold for ever. So I'm going to go. I'm going to reach H&M, and... I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, so I'm just chilling in the bathroom. It's two days later and look at my crew neck. Well, it's backwards in the mirror, but it says it costs $1 to be a kind human being. So based off of this entire vlog, I thought this was just super fitting to this criminal. All right, so I'm gonna update you guys real quick. So basically the officer that opened our case, that was his last hour at the station before he took a vacation and he actually comes back in tomorrow. So, so he's gonna resume our case tomorrow when he gets in. I can't believe the timing of that though. It's like we showed up at one and his shift ended at 1.15 and then he was off all the way until today because he was on vacation. That's what his chief said. Sorry, I don't know much about like police officers and stuff, but yeah, his chief said he was on vacation. So I am going to have plenty of updates um, coming November. I have one more video going up on this channel before Blood Queens airs on October 1st on Tuesday. That one video has already been filmed. So unfortunately you won't know what happened with me and this criminal and this theft until Gabamus, which starts November, the day or two after Halloween, the Gabaween vlog goes up, so November 1st or 2nd. And then my first Gabamus vlog of the year goes up three days after that. So like November 5th or 6th. So this is like the last fancy vlog until then because I have a video that's not a vlog going up after this and then we have Blood Queens. But if something crazy like happens, in between now and Blood Queens airing on October 1st, obviously I, I will upload it. Like I don't really care much about a schedule as much as I do about you finding out like updates and stuff. So God forbid like something crazy happens in between now and when Blood Queens is supposed to go up, I will upload an update. Sorry if this vlog is so long. Actually, why am I saying sorry? You guys like that. And just stay tuned for Blood Queens because you guys, you guys, it's... The event did sell out in three hours, the movie premiere. The first theater sold out in three hours, so then we had to expand it to a bigger theater in that venue, and that sold out three hours later. So basically, if you really, really want to go and you were too late to get a ticket, there will be like a wait list there so you could show up in person in case like someone doesn't show up and bought tickets, you could like take their spot. There's six seats reserved for handicap, so yeah. If you really, really, really want to go to the premiere and you have hope, I would still show up in case someone who bought tickets doesn't show up. Anyways, I'm just ranting a lot, but I will see you guys really soon. And you guys are not ready for Gab Miss. You are not ready for this year.